So hey developers, this is Code with Behram and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get started with Laravel Herd. So as you know guys, Laravel Herd is a local development environment that is only recently and currently built for macOS and I just saw in some of the posts uh, a few days ago that Laravel Herd is being created for Windows also. So as you know Laravel Herd is a local development environment and now you not have to worry about configuring the PHP composer and Nginx or Apache servers on any of these things because Laravel Herd will do it for you. So first of all as you can see I am on the current Laravel Herd website and we will go through the documentation and we will you know install it and we will do the setup and everything. So without wasting time let's jump right into it. So first of all, as you can see, I'm on the Laravel Herd website and we will go through the documentation and we will follow the steps and we will install and configure everything step by step. Okay, so first of all, let's just click on this button download for Mac. So it will install the DMG file for the Mac. So while it's installing, let me show you and give you a go through to the features of this Laravel Herd. So as you can see, Laravel Herd has also a free plan in which it provides PHP, Nginx, DNS and Node.js. And it also has the Pro subscription or package and the Teams package. So suit yourself and to connect database with Laravel Herd, we will use the dbing package that will be connected with Laravel Herd. And in this software, you can see your database tables, MySQL tables, and everything. And Tinkerwell. So the Tinkerwell is a graphical user interface that will interact with your Laravel app. Okay, let's get started. So our Laravel Herd has been installed. Let's go to the download folder. Here it is. Double click it and let's just transfer this herd to the applications. Okay, so now let's go to the applications and here. Yeah, as you can see, Laravel Herd has been installed and shipped to the applications. Double click it, click open, and as you can see, we are being getting started with Laravel Herd. So it's the welcome page. We first need to set up some system preferences. This requires root access. You will be asked for a system password. Okay, let's get started. Enter your system password. And after that, it will download the PHP, the latest version, which is 8.2. You can also upgrade to PHP 8.3 after it has been installed and it will install the nginx and dns mask which will be used to view your website on the browser that will be a test url but you can also share that url with your clients and with your friends and you can test that url on different devices it is actually a test uh, server that laravel herd provides you so let's just skip this step while it's installing dependencies and everything okay or php has been installed, has been downloaded in Laravel Herd. So if you want to activate this, you can add your email and you can add your license key. But I'm not using the other package there which are paid. I'm using the free one. So let's just skip for it now. You can see the main features of Laravel Herd, which is Tinkerbell and Debing. And let's just click on automatically launch Herd on system startup. Yes, I want this. And let's click on, let's get started. So as you can see, it will redirect you to the Laravel Herd documentation page. The installation tell you you can download the latest version of Herd from website. Okay, I have already installed it. You can also migrate from Laravel Valley to Herd and you can, you know, play with all these settings and everything. So let's just skip it and let's just go to the home page. And as you can see, our Laravel Herd has been started running on the background. As you can see, we have Nginx and DNS mask. We have the PHP 8.0. You can also go to settings. You can also upgrade the newer PHP version, which is 8.3. But I want to stick with 8.2. Okay, you can also play with the settings and everything and you can suit yourself okay so now let's just close this so you can also click on stop all it will stop the nginx and dns max every server that is being run on the background so now let me give you a quick tour of the laravel herd settings we will click on the herd icon in the toolbar and click on settings and here as you can see the general section shows you the folder the location and path of the folder that the laravel herd has been installed in and it will also show you the folder and paths of your Laravel apps that are being installed in Laravel Herd. Okay, so this next section is sites. So when you create a Laravel app or PHP app in Laravel Herd folder, so the site section will tell you the sites that are being currently used and created in Laravel Herd folder. And it will show you the URL, a test URL to that folder, to that application of your Laravel app. The PHP section shows you the PHP versions that you can use for your Laravel app. You can also upgrade new version which is 8.3 and you can install it but I will stick with 8.2 and you can go to the node.js section and it will tell you the versions of the node.js and you can also downgrade and increase the version of the node.js 
Okay, the expos, mail, dumps, debugger, herd, pro, shortcuts, about. You don't have to worry about these sections. You just have to worry about these sections, which are node, PHP, sites, and general. Okay, so where the Laravel herd folder is being created. Okay, so this general section shows you when you install the Laravel herd in your operating system. So it will tell you where actually the Laravel herd folder is being put when it is installed in your system. It is actually being installed in application support folder. Close this and let's just run terminal. So in the terminal, navigate to the root folder, which is using cd slash. It will navigate you to the root folder. And as you can see, we have all these folders here. When we navigate to the users folder, so in the users folder, when we go to Apple, and as you can see, the Laravel herd has been put here. So when we navigate to the herd folder, it will tell you and show you the folders and files that is being installed or put in the herd folder. Our Laravel applications and PHP applications will be actually stored in the herd folder. And let's just navigate to the herd folder and install some Laravel apps and let's run this. Navigate to the users, Apple, herd. So we are currently in the herd folder. So here we will install the Laravel apps and PHP applications. So let's just create a Laravel app using Composer, which is Composer create project Laravel slash Laravel Laravel herd project. Let's just name it Laravel herd project. Okay, so let's just run this command and it will create the Laravel project, the Laravel app with the name Laravel herd project in the herd folder. So now let's just wait until this is being installed. Okay, so the Laravel app has been installed. Okay, so we're running the ls command. You can see your project in the herd folder. So let's just navigate to the Laravel herd project. And as you can see, our files and folders are being stored here. Let's just open this folder in VS Code. Okay, let's just minimize this. And as you can see, our app has been opened in VS Code. Let's just click on this. And yes, I trust the authors. And let's just go to the settings and go to sites, whether our site is being deployed. And okay, so if you want to access this Laravel app in your browser, so for this, you just have to go to your browser and you just have to run Laravel herd project dot test. Every folder and every application in herd is being created with dot test. It's like an extension that will always be named with your project folder name and your PHP app names. Okay, so now we can access this website and just press enter. Okay, as you can see, our Laravel app has been live and we can see our live app on our live browser without configuring Apache server on any of the MySQL and uh, PHP admin tools. Laravel herd will take care of all these things for you. Okay, let's just test this URL in Safari. Let's just run this and as you can see, it is running fine. Okay, so now we have run our Laravel app. Now let's just install some dependencies and front-end scaffolding and also we need database. We have to access the PHP My Admin or MySQL database. So for this, we have to install dbing for Laravel herd to access our database. So for that, we have to install the dbing software. That is a database management tool for MySQL and PostgreSQL. Okay, so now let's just click on download for Mac. It will download this software and it will automatically connect itself with Laravel herd and you can access your database and you can also check your database tables and everything it is a database management tool like php my admin but in desktop version so while this is installing let me show you a quick walkthrough around it okay it supports a whole set of relation databases so it also supports radius my sql postgres sql okay so no dependencies you can work on multi versions of add ports it will not interfere between the ports and servers as you can see it is just like php my admin it will show you all of the your database tables and everything Okay, so while it's installing, let's just install some scaffolding and front-end dependencies in our Laravel application to make it run. Okay, so for that, first of all, we will need the Laravel Breeze to install front-end scaffolding, start recruit. So I need the Laravel Breeze with Blade and Alpine. So to install Laravel Breeze, we will use Composer. We will just run this command and it will install the front-end scaffolding for us. After that, we will run the command php artisan breeze 
and we share some migrate to migrate our database tables to our database management tool which is dbing so laravel breeze has been installed and let's just run this command to install laravel breeze you don't need all of these commands let's just run this so okay it will ask you which scaffolding you need i need blade with alpine let's just press enter yes i need the dark mode support let's just click i need past for testing so it will install everything for you okay so the laravel breeze with Alpine JS, K folding has been installed. So now let's just clear the terminal, close the terminal, and let's just see our Laravel heard DBing is being installed or not. Okay, so the DBing is also installed. Let's just navigate to the folder and let's just run the DMG file. So let's just shift the software to applications. So now let's just open the applications. Okay, so Laravel DBing has been installed, which is the database management tool for Laravel Herd. And let me tell you a quick tip. If you want to access your site from here in the settings, in the sites tab, you can just click on this globe here icon. And as you can see, you can access your Laravel app. And as you can see, our front-end scaffolding Laravel Breeze is also installed and you can access the login and register pages. So now let's just add a database project let's just go to env file and let's just add a database here which will be laravel herd project okay so for this as we installed the dbing app by herd let's just open this we will create a database server not the actual database so to create a database server we will click on the plus icon here so here we will create a database server we will select a service which will be in my case mysql we will also name our database server which will be mysql herd and now let's just leave the rest of the fields as it is and also click on the automatically start service on login and click on create so this will create the database server for you and now if you want to access this server let's just click on start okay as you can see start on login it will start as your operating system is being turned on and as you can see it is being served on the default port which is 3306 and if you want to see this database server in graphical user interface so now let's just click on the arrow icon here and open this database server in table plus application the table plus application is a database management tool is actually a gui that shows you all of your databases and everything and your tables in your operating system itself it's like a php my admin okay so for this, let's just click on open database and create a new database. Click on this new button and write the database name that we have written in the env file, Laravel herd project. And this will create a database with this name. Let's just click on OK and let's just click select this database and click open. So as you can see, we are currently in our database, which is Laravel herd project. And here you can see your tables and everything. OK, so let's just minimize this also close this okay so i have already installed the table plus and if you want this application so go to chrome and search for table plus click on the first download link it will show you the options for your operating system suit yourself and you can and mine is mac os so click on this uh, it will be downloaded and just open this and as i showed you open your database from the db engine tool let's just minimize this and let's just navigate to our laravel app and create a user so we can also register here let's just create a user example the gmail.com password will be password by default click register okay so now we don't have a table here because we haven't migrated our laravel migrations to our database go to vs code open the terminal and let's just run the command php artisan migrate and this will migrate all the migrations to your database and if you want to see your folders in the table plus so as you can see as i migrated my migrations and tables from laravel I can see my tables here in table plus it is a trial version so you can create not more than one or two databases here you have to buy the subscriptions to create more tables and databases okay so our tables and migrations has been migrated to database now we can access the user we can create the user but instead of creating user we can go to cedars and we can run cedars which will create a fake user for us let's just uncomment this and let's just run php artisan migrate fresh dash dash c and this will run all of the migrations with c so now if we go to already registered and run this user and log in this user password will be password by default and as you can see our user has been logged in and we can access our dashboard so another great thing of laravel herd is that if you want to run your server 
On HTTPS instead of HTTP, you can also do that in Laravel Hertz settings. So let's just go to Laravel Hertz settings and in the sites panel, as you can see, our site has been served on HTTP instead of HTTPS. And if you want to convert the HTTP to HTTPS, which is secure, you can click on the lock icon here. As you can see, the secure is mentioned above. Click on this lock icon and enter your system password. And now your server has been converted to HTTPS. Let's just click on this browse icon here and it will navigate to your server. And as you can see, it is now running on HTTPS instead of HTTP. So now let's just click on dashboard. And as you can see, all of the URLs and all your app will now run on HTTPS instead of HTTP. Okay, so as you saw, it was a quick jump on getting started with Laravel Herd and Debing. So if you like the video, subscribe to my channel, keep supporting and stay tuned for more.